Well, it's a beautiful day and it's fairly early. What I am going to do is get rid of all these canes that have got no growth on them because they're not going to bear any fruit this year. So they just as well come out and give me a bit of a clear view of what's going on. So these summer fruit and raspberry, they actually flower on last year's growth. So this is going to come to absolutely nothing. Well, it's going to take me a while, but it's early sunshine. It's not too warm and it's going to be quite enjoyable. The other thing is I'm trying to put off one of those jobs that most people said they didn't like, which is mowing the grass. It's got to happen today. Otherwise, I'm just not going to be able to get around the allotment very easily. So I'll get on and cut these down. Take me about 20 minutes. Well, this is the last few. And I should have done this job earlier when I could get right to the base of these canes without getting myself covered in stinging nettles. And my legs are, well, humming with stings at the moment. But hey, that's just part of it. Right, well, that took me about 15 minutes and it uh, looks a lot better. So, I can't put it off any longer. It's mowing time. I thought I'd take a two minute break from the lawn mowing and pick my strawberries. First of the year, fantastic. Wow, that was a long job. There was a lot of grass there. I'd let it get a bit too long, to be honest. And I've had to cut quite high because the grass underneath is still damp. So I'm gonna let it dry off in this heat. And then probably a little bit later on in the day, I'll just take it down about another inch. And that'll give me a few extra days before I need to mow it again. And then of course it's the strimming. And that's going to be another day. But it already looks better. And I enjoy it so much more when it's tidy. So, good times. Just look at this weather. It's scorching. In fact, it's too hot to do the strimming that I need to do. But hey, I don't mind putting that off. It'll grow a little bit longer. But when I cut it, it'll last a bit longer. So I'm going to do that when it gets a bit cooler. In the meantime, I'm going to take you in the polytunnel and show you what needs to be done next. I need to clear this bench because I want the peppers out. The leeks can't go out until I've done that weeding in that leek bed. These runner beans, they're germinating nicely, but they're going to be a little while. Celeriac could go out now, but unfortunately that needs weeding. What have I got in here? Cucumber, I can probably get that into this bed very quickly. These basil can come down onto the lower level. I've got some beans that can go out, but that bed needs weeding. And I've got lots of pumpkins and squash that probably need potting on once, because I always think they do a little bit better if you pot them on. And the parsnips, uh, they got a while to go yet. But there's plenty that can be put out. So I think I need to weed those beds and get the space ready. And then of course my potatoes, they can come out of here now and perhaps sit on the patio and that will give me the space to bring anything else down here. And of course that frees my bench then and I can bring the peppers out, which would be fantastic. So, looks like weeding might be my priority at the minute. Oh well, take my time. So these leeks, I'll tell you the story for the last time. They went underneath the runner beans and the plan was that when the beans came down, 
I would have some more leaks ready. It didn't quite work out that way because when I took the beans down, they were a bit winicky. So I just left them. And now, well, they're ready to eat really. So there's a few that have bolted and they won't be very good. But the others, I think, will make good eating. So they're coming out as part of the weeding of this bed. And then I'll be ready to put next time's leaks in. Right, I'll get these last few bricks off, take the net down, and then it's the boring bit. I'll tell you what I do do. I put a podcast on. I get my iPod near me, find something I've got an interest in, usually a photography podcast. And then I just play it in the background while I pick away at the weeds. It passes the time and makes the job a little bit less tiresome. job but this this iPod other mp3 players are available and playing a podcast is fantastic you've got an onerous task to carry out one that's a bit boring get yourself a good podcast fantastic right I'm going to lift these leaks and see what we've got now I can see already that the first three of these have bolted and to be honest that's going to make them not worth eating. And that's a shame, but I think that's a product of the being in for so long. So let's get past those three. Oh, the fourth one's the same. So I think planting leeks late in the summer and then overwintering them, you do run the risk of bolting like that. Right, that's fourth one out none of those are edible this one it is so let's get that out and that's a reasonable leak for a meal that's another one same and this one's bolted so really the success rate means that this isn't worth doing now that one feels a bit softer so we're gonna see if that's edible this one looks okay although it's very thin these two have bolted that's a real shame let's see if we can rescue anything from that one because it's quite thick and this one what happens is you get a hard core goes down through the leak which is effectively this flower stem and it renders the flesh too hard to eat really but sometimes you can get the flesh from around it this one's okay quite thin another one that's bolted but it's quite flexible so might be all right this one's fine and the last two unfortunately have got flower stems in them so all in all not worth doing again i think this bed's done now and ready for putting new leaks in when I'm ready to plant them. So this broccoli has been absolutely amazing and I am definitely going to grow it again. If you don't like broccoli then ah, I get that you wouldn't want to grow it but I can't think of a better crop you start to sow this in, well, June and then plant out in July. And that gives you a little bit longer for the plant to establish before it goes into winter. Now these were planted a bit later and they've stayed a bit smaller. But if I'd planted them in early July, I think they'd probably be up here. And the crop off of this, what, eight or 10 bushes has been huge. 
and they've gone to seed now so they're going for the chickens to have a bit of a munch and they'll love that so they're coming out i'll quickly weed this bed and then this is where the parsnip's going to go but they've got to grow a bit more first okay these stakes that i used were a great help they certainly kept the plants upright and made sure that we got a good crop and that the plants weren't lying on the floor after winter bad weather so i should be using these again i wanted to show you the roots from these broccoli so if you remember this bed has the dreaded club root and when you look at these roots you would expect to see nodules relating to that club root and there's not a one you can see remnants of the lime that I put into the hole so that has been an absolute success and I'm hoping that that's going to work well for the other brassicas I've planted this year hope you enjoyed the video today if you did click the subscribe button click the like button and if you want updates from me each time I upload a video click the bell and select all I do hope you have a great day